Hey everybody, Logan here. Yeah, you read that right. I had a flood in my game room. I would say around three months ago. Never really addressed it on the channel. Uh, things changed quite a bit, especially on this side of the room over here. I'll show you a bit more. I'll turn out the light so you can see a bit better. But we're not going to do a full game room tour. I'm just going to kind of show you what happened and show you what changed. Well, I don't have any footage or videos of the flood, but I will go over uh, exactly what happened and how it happened and what caused it to change. And it was quite a bit of a reason why a lot of my game room stuff got uh, scaled down quite a bit on that side of the room. I put a lot of stuff in the garage that, uh, well, I didn't want to get damaged just in case it happened again. And I also put stuff in the closet. Kind of upsetting. Thinking back, it bothered me a lot. It's uh, a reason why I didn't have any videos for, I think it was about a week during that time period. I want to say it was the, the end of March, beginning of April is when it happened. And yeah, it was kind of rough. But with that being said, let me show you some of the uh, the things that have changed in the game room. I'll show you some positive things, but I'll show you what happened and uh, I'll, I'll walk you through it. But you tell me if it looks better now or if it looked better before. And well, you can check out the 2024 Game Room Tour video. I'll put a link in the description below as well. It's, well, it's the main video when you visit the channel. So you can check it out there. Whatever makes you happy. But, uh, yeah. Let's go over what happened. <laughs> so we'll do a quick look at the, at the entryway of the game room. I did turn off the lights. Uh, one thing I did add, uh, yeah, it's retro Rick's playing. <laughs> one thing I did add was a couple of extra shelves up here and, uh, the GTA, uh, picture up there otherwise everything else is still pretty much the same now i think i got rid of a lot of i think it was before i can't remember if it was before or after but i got rid of almost all my sega games got the polymega all that happened and this is right there that's everything i have left of my sega collection it's just some dreamcast games some english and japanese and then my game gear i still love my game gear and I have my Sega Genesis Mini along with some Sonic stuff. But box Game Boy Advance games. I moved that around. Everything here is still the same. Now I did add a couple of things here. I got that. That is really cool. $30. Brand new. Never been opened. New retro. Uh, steering wheel for the Nintendo 64. I'm still debating whether or not I'm going to open it. But there you go. Now I did do an update short i guess you can say on my switch collection 766 physical games so i haven't quite hit 800 i do have to alphabetize those into the wall but then it's it's a big thing now down here if you want to take a quick look yes that's a red bandana gaming blanket i put a lot of boxed ones and as you can see i got double rows of each so I could fit more here and I condensed uh, all my non switch games that are Nintendo here. And then I bet you're like, wait, didn't you say you were selling all your stuff? This is a condensation condensation. It's a condensed uh, collection of mine and my wife's. The only thing she still has is her PS4 and her PS5, but everything else that she had is now combined PS2, PS3, PSP. She still has some of her PSP and some of her Vita. There's not too much there. And then, yeah, PS2, PS3. That's why you can see, if you look down, there's some titles that I would never play, but she likes. That's, that's all the PlayStation stuff. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Xbox is pretty much gone. That's it. Because of everything digital... All my games I had digitally and with Xbox going completely digital and saying, you know, 
screw physical and screw, screw game preservation, which is kind of funny because they were saying the opposite. But no, they really don't care. I have all these games digital, whether they stay or whether they go. I, I kept my favorites, and you'll see them within my Halo wall shelf thing here. But look, you're going to notice there's a shelf missing here. There's used to be two really big shelves here. This, I thought I was buying a replacement for at Walmart. These shelves, same price, are now smaller at Walmart. They're almost a half a foot smaller uh, in terms of height and about two inches slimmer. So this is what is now those two really big shelves. Let me pull back a little bit. This used to be two large shelves that would go right up underneath the Skyrim poster. It was two of them all the way down to the edge. And then a shelf like that was over here. I had to throw out those shelves. This one uh, is a new one. And it basically was going to go over there, but I put it there. It makes it a little more movement room through there uh, a little easier. So I just hung a shelf there and then hung uh, uh, that big uh, Hogwarts poster thing up there. Now, I bet you're like, what flooded? It doesn't look like anything's changed. So this is the, this is the bathroom. Now, inside the bathroom is a flat wall over there. It's dark and I'm filming at night but on the outside of that wall there's a spigot like a, a faucet where you plug in a hose and we have a trash can out there right on the side and it fell over it was knocked over and it fell over and knocked the spigot off the wall apparently 20 plus years this house is about 20, 20 years old now uh, it, it knocked off the wall and flooded inside the house inside my entire bathroom's flooded my bathroom goes back to about right around there now good thing is it didn't come out and get here what happened it flooded here and then we were able to turn it off in time but it flooded all the way up here all of this was soaked but some reason it only went from here to a right around there. It didn't spread out this way. I'm assuming because of how the water flow was and the carpet just took it this way. So I had to throw out all the furniture. I lost a couple of boxes, some gaming boxes and stuff like that. <sighs> some stuff had to be disposed of and it, it sucks. So I had to take everything out, throw away two big shelves, three sh and one small one, and then I had to use a wet dry vac, dry everything up as best as I could, get all kinds of fans, pull up the carpet, dry it all, all that good stuff, that not fun stuff. So in order to dry this all out, what a pain that was. And after that, it took about three days for everything to dry up completely, even after the wet dry vac. I didn't want to put stuff on and still just in case I let it go for three days before I moved anything back. <laughs> and then I bought this. I was going to buy two, but they only had one at the time uh, when I went to Walmart because that's where I bought the original. And once I got it in here, I was like, that's much smaller. So I had to, th these are secured to the walls. If you guys have those, you know, there's actually a securing thing, a little screw and whatnot where you can secure it to the wall. And then what was securing the other one was up here. So I had to patch the wall and, you know, the, now the, there's stuff in front of it. Same thing with this side. So instead of putting up another one, I just put that there, condensed everything here, put a lot of stuff in the garage, stuff that could have been condensed or moved into other places. I did that as well. And then I hung one tiny shelf up there. And well, as you can see, that's the rest. Now, everything else is pretty much the same, but I did change up what you see right here. here I'm gonna move this back move this because normally 
I don't have it that far up. This, oh, I can't zoom back any further. I took out these little black cubes that were just holding accessories and stuff. And I just, I sold a lot of extra controllers and a lot of extra accessories because they were just taking up so much space. So almost all of them were empty. So I decided to put more consoles back there. So I've got my NES, Super NES, Nintendo 64, the two Wii's, Wii and Wii Mini, GameCube, Wii U, Xbox 360, my three Switches, OLED, OLED, OG, that's the red OG, Halo Series X, uh, Xbox One, PS4 Slim, PS4 Slim uh, Days of Play Edition, uh, PS3 Fat, backwards compatible, PS3 uh, Super Slim, PS2 Slim, PS1, and then there you go. And then right now it's the Xbox that is connected. So what do you guys think? How about this angle with no lights on? I'm really scary, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. So that's what happened. That's that's the, the quick and dirty game room tour after the flood update. So yeah, not the not the fanciest, not the, the biggest. I just wanted to do a little update video and um, tell you guys what happened. I was going to wait till 2025, but this room is going to change quite a bit next year. I'm actually going to do, uh, I, I think I mentioned it in, in the video, I'm going to paint the walls. I'm going to change up the colors, going to do some red and black, maybe throw some blue. I don't know. I am going to do a, a dark red, maybe dark red behind me or dark red on one of the accent walls. But the one that's behind the TV is going to be black. And I don't know, um, maybe just that wall, maybe another one. I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to do some some repainting as well. Oh, so yeah, that's what happened. What do you guys think? Looks okay, right? Yeah. So things have changed a little bit. A uh, number of things have changed uh, outside the game room, within the house and the life and stuff like that. But hey, life is alright. Life is alright. God's blessed me. So what can I say? Roll with the punches, right? Right, right, right. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, share this video. Well, you don't have to share this video. You can just share it with other people who actually care about game rooms. And um, I got a lot, of, a lot of work ahead of me. So by the time I do my 2025 game room tour, it's going to be a pretty big update because we know I didn't do one. I didn't do one in 2023. Yeah, 2022, 2024. Um, if I don't get all this done by 2025, there won't be a video. But trust me, I'll have all this done by the middle of 20. About, about this time next year, it'll all be done and you'll have Game Room Red Bandana Ultra Tour Mega. We're ready to start cast room ultra 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 I, I don't know i'm gonna shut up now it's late thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button god bless you all like what i would say be legendary thanks again